Hello again. Uh, I've been working on my Arduino compatible uh, VEX microcontroller. And what I've been working on most recently is the shield or the prototype board that's going to sit on top of my Arduino Mega 2560. So here's what I've got done so far. You can see I've got some of the connectors and wiring done. My connectors that I have here, this one here is going to be for my motors. I've got one here that uses interrupt inputs and that's going to be primarily for my encoders. These here are going to serve for my digital I.O. both in and out. And these are my analog inputs over here. So I said I got some of them wired. Some are wired on the top side. Some of them are wired on the bottom side. You'll also see I've got some common ground and 5 volt connections. I don't have those completely tied in yet, but I'm still continuing to work on that. I still need to put my headers in here so I can connect it to the Arduino itself. What I'm also uh, going to need to finish up, I'm going to have a separate connector over here. It's going to serve and allow me to connect a, a different power source for my motors if I choose to do so. I'll have a jumper so I can select either from the power that's powering the board or from this uh, separate connector. I also have wired <coughs> to this board a switch that's going to, at least right now, serve as my motor power switch. And another switch over here will be a push button that's going to serve as my reset. I also, in my previous video, mentioned that in my case that I'm making, I'm looking at adding a hole, and so I'll also wire in here an LED, and that'll be for a status indicator to indicate that there's power going to the board. So I continue to progress here. It shouldn't be too much longer before I've got the board. I've done some initial testing on a regular breadboard, so I'll be curious to see how this all works. All right, stay tuned, and if you can, please subscribe. Thank you.